So, I had someone ask me a question the other day. Um, they told me they still want to be able to socialize. They, uh, sorry, they're trying to diet at the moment. They said they're really committed to wanting to stick to diet, but they still want to be able to socialize and they're scared. They're like, how can I still socialize while dieting? I feel like you know, social the social side of things is still very important to me. And I don't want to give that up. I still want to be able to see my friends and you know, catch up with them because I don't want to make that detrimental, but I also want to stick to my diet. And the great thing about this is that you do not have to at all give up the social side of things when you were dieting, okay? The issue that we have is that when people say they want to socialize, you will choose places that are going to be high in calories or end up, cause you to overeat. So instead of going out for dinner or going to a pub or a club or anything that involves alcohol, you should just try and change that social setting to something else, okay? If you wanna catch up with a friend, go for a walk or go get a coffee and go for a walk, or sit down for a coffee and just get a coffee. Not a fucking croissant on the side, not anything else, drink a coffee. If you're gonna go out for breakfast, like I always say, get yourself some eggs on toast with no butter because the eggs will lubricate the toast because of the fat. And if you wanna have a little bit of butter, have a fucking little bit of butter, I don't have it. You get a little bit of butter, eggs on toast, poached eggs, that's it, all right, done. You want some spinach on the side, go for it. Easy meal. 600 calories, okay? You're gonna go for lunch, go somewhere where there's an option where you get lean protein and veggies or salad on the side. Easy 800 calorie meal right there. Do not choose venues where you're gonna get an entree, a main, uh, is there one between an entree and a main? There's another word. An appetizer, an entree, a main, a dessert, okay? If everyone else is getting it, skip the fucking appetizer, skip the entree, skip the dessert, get a main, get lean protein, get vegetables. That's it, okay? It can be done. You never have to give up socializing. But the issue that people have is it's not that they wanna give up socializing, they wanna be able to go and fucking eat the bullshit food or do whatever else they do while they socialize. And can you do that while dieting? No. It's the fucking truth. You can't eat whatever the fuck you want when dieting because it makes life harder. You can't drink whenever you want when you're dieting because it makes life harder. If you can if you can stick to a certain amount of drinks and you don't go over, fucking awesome. You do that. That's fantastic. Most people who drink will make shitty decisions. Most people who drink won't be able to regulate themselves like myself. Most people who drink will then go and eat afterwards. Most people who drink will then be hung over on a Sunday and then fucking ruin their Sunday too and eat shit. So it's not the socialization that's the problem. It's all the shit you do with specific types of socializing, okay? Again, if you want to go out for a dinner and it's a nice main meal with your partner or a friend or whatever it is, and that's all you do, you, you have one wine and that's it and you go home, fucking oath you can socialize. Again, you want to go for a coffee in the morning with someone, sit down or either go for a coffee and go for a walk, fucking oath, do that. But you don't go to breakfast and order a big fucking breakfast. Or you don't go to a bottomless brunch, okay? Like, this is the shit that you can't do. I mean, you can do it if you want to do it, but don't expect to fucking get results. So I'm not saying that you have to give up social events always, forever, or uh, again, altogether at all. You just have to kind of change them. And if you do decide to do the social events where it's bottomless brunches, going out and getting shit-faced and all things like that, then don't fucking complain about not getting results. Because guess what? There has to be trade-offs. Just like if you want to get a promotion at work, sometimes you've got to work a little bit harder. You can't be like, oh, actually, you know what? I want to do the same work as every other pleb in here, but I want to get a promotion. That's not how you get a fucking promotion. How do you get a promotion? You work harder than other people. You possibly work longer than other people. You get more work output than other people. You stand out and all of a sudden you'll get results, right? You'll get a fucking promotion. The same thing when it comes to health and fitness, you got to do shit that other people aren't doing, okay? If everyone's like, hey, we're going to get your shit face on a Friday night, maybe you don't go and do that. Maybe you're like, hey, actually, you know what? I'll see who I can catch up with tomorrow. Maybe I'll catch up with someone Sunday morning. Instead of being Sunday morning hungover, go for a Sunday morning walk with some friends, all right? Have a fucking board game at home. A board's night, a game's night at home, I should say. Sorry, board games, games, whatever. Have it at home, you know? Do shit like that because you can still have the socialization. You just have to set the environment up that's going to lead you in a successful situation. Or maybe you can go to a bar and not drink and hang out with friends. I can do that. You might be able to do that. If you can, fucking oath, go for that. You've just got to be smart about where your situation is going to be, okay? So, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, you can send me a message on Instagram, at Tyson Trainer with two R's, and until next time, I'll speak to you then.